is the original image. I've shot from low down and I'm shooting up onto the buildings. Because I've done this, the lines on the image seem to be slanting in towards the center of the top of the image, giving me all these converging lines that you can see here that I'm just highlighting for you. When we look at things in real life, our brains do a quick calculation and straighten all the lines for us so that we see everything with the lines perpendicular. So to do that to this image, we're just going to do a very quick and simple fix. So I'm going to take this area here and straighten it and pull it so that lines with the right side of the image. And we'll do the same thing over here with the left side of the image. So before I start, I'm just going to make a duplicate layer. You don't have to do this, but I like to do it just so that I always have my original to go back to. Okay, so I'll select my layer. And then I'm going to go to the transform tool in the menu. And that gives me all these hooks around the image that I can pull in and out. And before I start pulling and distorting anything, I'll just go back to transform and in the sub menu, I'll go to distort. So what I can do now is using the shift key, I can at the same time pull the image out to the right. And the shift key just makes sure that I stay on that horizontal line. I uh, just pull it and what I'm doing, I'm using the uprights in the image as a reference for how far I need to pull the image across. So I just keep an eye on the verticals against the edge of the image. And then same thing on the left side of the image. And this time I'm using the window frames and columns as my reference for how far to pull the image. Pulling the image has distorted it in a different way. Now everything looks a bit squat. You can see that the people look a bit squat, the building looks squat. There's a simple way to fix this. So I'm going to change my canvas size and I'm going to lock my image to the base of my work area so that when I make the canvas, it's only going to extend on the top. So I'm going to make it a percentage and just the height. I'm going to key in 108%. 108, 109, 110, 107. I've found that round about those numbers work depending on the image I'm working with. But you can experiment. So there's my extra canvas. So now I'll make my layer a selection again. And I'm going to go back into the menus to transform. I'll just use free transform. My handles come up again around the image. And this time I'll just pull the center handle up to get rid of that distortion or the squattiness. I don't know if that's a word, <laughs> but the squattiness of my image. And one of the ways that I work out how much to do this is I look at things like the lamps in the lampposts because they're circular, the wheels on the car, the car itself. And I look at the figures in the picture. These people, for instance, all look a little bit squat, but now better, but still a tiny bit squat. So I'll just pull it up a little more. Not so much. And that's, yeah. So now the guy in the foreground is looking much more in proportion. Yeah, this is a before and after.
Okay. So now I'm going to crop my image. And there it is. Looking at the image, I'm still not too happy with this right side. It still looks a bit, the angle's not quite where I want it to be. So I'm just going to do a quick adjustment just to straighten up this area here. So again, select my area, go into my transform menu, distort, holding the shift key at the same time as I choose distort, holding the shift key at the same time as I pull the handle and I can just make that slight adjustment. And yeah, that's looking better. Okay. So there's the final image. And you can go on, you can dodge and burn or, you know, any of those things that you like to do to your images.